implications of AI in your business. Many companies are jumping on the AI bandwagon, but hardly have a strategy. If you think you can simply implement and roll out AI, then you're in for a big shock, because that may be the easy part. In this video, we'll see what's more difficult. I create bi-weekly videos on AI and architecture. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Also head on to my website and subscribe to my mailing list. Take a hospital that's planning to use AI to assist in the diagnosis of disease and its treatment. Also say that the AI system can give a recommendation to the doctor and it's up to the doctor to either take it or override it. Even in this very simple case, here's what goes into this decision. The patient is cured or the patient dies. If cured and the AI system recommended medicine X, then we have two other possibilities. The doctor agreed with the AI system or the doctor overrode what the AI system prescribed and prescribed Y instead. In the first case, the AI is given a lot of credit with press reports about how AI helped cure the disease and so on. And in the second case, the doctor is tagged as a hero who saved the day. Great. Now what happens if the patient dies? We have the same possibilities of decisions by the AI system and by the doctor. In the first case, the doctor is blamed for not overriding the system. And in the second case, the doctor is blamed for overriding the system. There is a no-win situation for the doctor. In the event the doctor truly believes that the AI system is wrong, she is reluctant to override its decision because her backup in a legal sense is that she can always say that the system made a recommendation and that she supported it. This is much better than the case where she overrides the system and the patient dies. She will definitely be blamed for that. So what do you think most doctors in this scenario would do? They'd try to reduce their own risk, essentially going with the AI system's recommendation, even though that may not be the best course of action. And where does that recommendation come from? It came from the AI system, but equally responsible may be the data scientist who created and fine-tuned the model on which the AI bases its recommendation. Maybe the data scientist is to be blamed. Or maybe the data that was used to arrive at these decisions was of bad quality in the first place, in which case we can blame the data provider. Perhaps the instrument to collect the data was not collecting it correctly, or perhaps the data analyst who transformed the data did a bad job and lost some of the critical information in the transformation. So you see how complex a simple situation can get? Let's look at some of the implications of rolling out an AI system into a hospital. The doctors have to be trained, for sure. There are legal and ethical decisions to be made. Processes might change with different sets of approvals. Data has to be shared across different areas. New algorithms may be introduced and drive change. New information may become available. Audit and documentation requirements have to be met. Those are to name a few. With so many moving parts, who calls attention to all these dimensions? Makes sure that they are all prioritized, understand the dependencies, ensure alignment, and ultimately help achieve the business objectives. That would be a business architect, not a planner or a program manager. Because this person needs to understand the parts from an architectural perspective of how things fit together and how they deliver value. To implement AI in your organization, you have to consider the technical dimensions of data, algorithms and deployment. To roll out the solutions, you have to consider many business dimensions like processes, capabilities, people, etc. So you'll need experts both in AI and in architecture to help you on this transformation journey. And you know where to find me. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you.